Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So I'm so excited because in the massive release notes list that I see every day, all of them say level up item do not announce, level up item do not announce. But I found one that doesn't say that so I can bring it to you and I'm so excited to do so. So as you can see here, this is a workflow enhancement, a major upgrade to the if else action. So the idea is uh, we're excited to announce this major UI change. It's a whole new take on branches and recipes for if else. So what's new here? We have scenario based recipes. So completely reimagine how you set up your if else conditions by introducing scenario recipes. So you can see right here um, when you do add an, uh, an if else action, it says scenario recipe, you hit the drop down. And there are pre-built templates that are trying to simplify your process here. So basically you can select one of the pre-built recipes, click the drop down. There's 10 recipes here. These recipes will also tell you any prerequisites you need to add. So for example, availability, prepare branches based on an opening and closing hours. So if you wanted to do the, if you want this if else to represent opening and closing hours, use that recipe, contact replied or has tags. The idea here is that you're not just getting an if else condition that you then have to build out from scratch. It's pre-populating with hopefully a lot of the more common scenarios that we know and we've seen all of you use just to make your lives a lot easier. Um, so up and, and it's not just that, but we've also added enhanced branch functionality. So the idea here is if the if else, if the if else branches um, in the builder have um, gone through a major upgrade. You can now um, see a concise text summary of each branch, making it easier to understand at a glance what conditions are being met. For branches with multiple conditions, there's a plus X more conditions on it. So you can see this. So a good example right here, if full name is Pursun, and then it's like, oh, look, plus one, there's another uh, there's another condition here to, that's actually underneath it. So I can click in and see that. Otherwise, it could be a single condition, like if current uh, a day of week is not, and this is probably Tuesday, but this gives you at a glance an idea of exactly what it is that's happening in that branch to make your life a heck of a lot easier. Also, time of day condition. Oh yeah, sorry. And then you can see if you uh, if you mouse over what the conditions are. They've done such a great job with these screenshots. <laughs> um, they're helping me uh, explain this a lot better than I could otherwise. Okay, now um, time of day condition. So in the current hour uh, uh, condition type, so the user was only able to select the hour options, but we've now added a uh, new option for date and time as well. Um, and so you can actually, of course, select the date time condition and you can also um, allow you to select specific times down to the 15 minute interval, which obviously gives you a lot more granular control than just like hours or half hours, which is what I think it was before. And for simplifying new descriptions, uh, select values indicate what uh, situation will be true when you select them. So right here, as you can see, I select 1215 and it's like, hey, listen, this condition will be true post 1229 and 59 seconds AM uh, uh, on whatever that day is, right? And then uh, let's see here, what else did I uh, miss here? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, um, yeah, this just shows that you can add it to other stuff that you're doing. Also, UI upgrade, refresh UI for the FL um, action, making it more user uh, friendly, obviously. Branch conditions, green has been streamlined, and the new condition drop down makes it easier. It's just saying, hey, listen, we're all, um, obviously really working hard on just making sure that not only are we adding great new enhancements here, but we're also making it just a lot easier and nicer to use. Oh, and by the way, check out these cool handles. You can now actually uh, simply rearrange them uh, by grabbing those handles and dragging them up and down. So this is an awesome list. Did I miss anything here? No, no, no. Okay, great. So this is just such an awesome enhancement. I, I think all of you are gonna love this. You can see that this it, this is a great example of really where we're going as an app, really taking these core powerful features that we have and just upgrading them to make them either simpler or more powerful or just a lot easier to use and get going. Um, and I think this is a great example of some uh, of the team doing this with the If Else branch specifically. So anyways, on that note, I hope you're having an awesome Thursday and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.